Did Jacob Roloff just let the cat out of the bag? Or, to be more accurate, did Jacob Roloff just let the horse out of the barn? A few days ago, the former reality star left followers very confused when he tweeted a message that implied his family farm was up for sale. Me preparing the farm for sale? Yes, hell yeah! Wrote the ex-Little People Big World cast member having a pretend conversation with himself. Roloff then added, Me realizing the farm is for sale? Well, this sucks, what the hell? The implication here appears to be that Jacob's dad Matt has put the property on the market, and Jacob isn't overly psyched about someone else owning the land on which he was raised. Jacob deleted this tweet not long after it went viral, which is unusual for a 25-year-old. Never one to back down from sharing his opinion, Jacob recently hurled all his loved ones under a bus. Did I screw up not selling my soul for TV and add money? Asked Roloff late last month, referring, we assume, to his decision to leave Little People Big World in 2016 and adding, Hope not, but rent is too damn high and I work too damn much. Back to the farm, though. Matt and his ex-wife Amy brought up their four children while running this tourist attraction. In 2019, years after the couple split, Amy sold her portion of the property to Matt and moved about 15 minutes away. There's been chatter almost ever since that Matt was planning to retire and move to Arizona with his girlfriend Karen Chandler. The problem, however, is that Matt hasn't been able to settle on a deal with any of his kids. Audrey Roloff wrote a bitter message on Instagram several months ago about how she and husband Jeremy won't be taking over the farm. Zack and Tori Roloff moved into a new home last year, with the letter also confirming that the pair won't be buying the lot off of her father-in-law. By the looks of a trailer for upcoming episodes of Little People Big World, this lack of an agreement will stir up a lot of tension between Zack and Matt too. He didn't come in to negotiate, he came in to demand, Matt says in the video of Zack. Do you want to make money off your own family, or do you want this legacy you've preached about for 10 years? Zack later says in a confessional, referring to his father and, apparently, his unexpected greed. Yikes, huh? With Zack and Jeremy seemingly out of the picture as future farm owners, this has left Jacob as the only son standing. We haven't settled what we're going to do with the farm, it's all being discussed actively, Matt told curious followers in May 2021. Not long afterwards, a social media user asked, is Jacob the one to get the farmhouse? Yes, a source told the son, someday that is. Matt would prefer Jacob and wife Isabel to take over the farm, but he's not sure they are on board at the moment, an insider told this outlet a while ago. Matt is on good terms with all of his sons, but the situation of who will take over the farm is still an issue yet to be resolved. He is the youngest son, but Matt knows Jacob has potential. They're on the farm a lot, and Matt thinks this is a good way to teach him a lot of things he needs to learn. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.